The one good thing about something like artificial intelligence is if you position yourself now, if you get in a position where you can use it before other people can, then people will hire you to use it for them. Mm. Work with the machines. You yeah. don't have to work against them. You can work with them. But firstly, you need to learn how to use it. And we will teach you inside of Hustles University, which you can access. But once again, most people are stupid, lazy, or arrogant. Artificial intelligence is not too hard to use. You can join our school and we'll teach you exactly how to use it. Mm -hmm. it only 5% of people will be too stupid to do it. The majority of people are too lazy to do it. Mm -hmm. They're too lazy to join my school. They'll sit here and listen to this whole podcast. And then I'll say, I have a school which will teach you how to use the machines to print you money. And they're still too lazy to go and learn. And they're going to wonder why they're broke forever. Mm -hmm. Or they're too arrogant. Mm -hmm. I don't need the AI. Oh yeah, it's probably something that'll exist and it won't affect me. Mm -hmm. Good luck, friend. Yeah, no, that's a good point. And I love that you guys make it an affordable price point and people can- It's $49 ROI. a month. There's absolutely no excuse at all. The mm -hmm. only reason people do not benefit from Muscles University and make enough money to escape the matrix is because they're lazy or arrogant. Crypto was a disruptive industry. And crypto was a play where if you believed in cryptocurrency early enough, you could have become monumentally wealthy. But I think the proposition of believing in cryptocurrency would have been a hard leap for most people to make. If you talked about Bitcoin early on, it would have been like, okay, internet, magic money, that's outside of the banks and it's gonna go up and I'm gonna make money. That's hard to believe. Yeah, there's no mental reference for there's it. There's no mental reference. However, AI is a much easier jump. I think most people at home understand that AI is coming here and it's gonna be here to stay and it's gonna change every single facet of how our world operates. Right. And you'd be a fool to not believe those things. So you need to be in AI early like people got into crypto early. Crypto is a hard decision to make because it's a hard jump to make, but AI is an easy jump. And anyone who's not trying to build AI into their business right now, whether they're a plumber, whether they're a barista, you can name anything. Mm -hmm. There has to be a way to get artificial intelligence involved in the company you're currently running and learn how artificial intelligence works because I think that's gonna be the future of the people who truly make it and those who don't. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is because they talk about removing the link between your time and your money because if they're linked, you're gonna run out of time and you're never gonna be able to get rich if you sell your time for money. Right. But the machines never sleep. And I'm already testing a whole bunch of theories and, and, and methods which allow us to use artificial intelligence to make a lot more money than we currently do. And I can give you endless examples of it. I'll give you a very simple example. Let me give you a hypothetical because I don't want to give away too many of my secrets. I'd be careful what I say. <laughs> Let's imagine right now I had a sales team mm -hmm. and I, would, I had a sales team of 10 men. I would try to build my own version of chat GPT or my own chat bot, or I'd be trying to make sure that the artificial intelligence mind knows what it needs to know to answer questions. And I would compare it against my lowest salesman, my worst salesman and see how it does. Because firstly, it's free effectively. Secondly, it never needs to sleep and never needs holiday pay. And let's say it's only half as effective as my worst salesman. That's fine if you can feed it double the leads. If you can find leads now at a low enough cost, you can, make more money from a free machine than you come, can your least, your lowest performing person. Yeah, and deal with the logistical complexity and do, of management. Yeah. Absolutely. So is that worth a try? Yes, because mm -hmm. across the next two to three years, that machine is going to get better exponentially. Is the person who has been working for you for 10 years and is still your lowest salesman ever going to truly get better? Probably not. Mm -hmm. And I think getting in early and being involved in this disruptive industry at a point now where it's, not mainstream is going to be the difference between the companies that survive into the future and those that don't. Because just like Bitcoin, when everybody starts doing it, a lot of the opportunity is going to disappear. And I think that it doesn't matter what industry you're thinking of getting involved in now or what you're thinking of doing, you should be looking at how you can use AI right now to make as much money as possible. And that's the advice I'm giving to people. And that's what we're teaching inside of our school as well in Hustlers University. Every single campus, we have a specific campus around artificial intelligence, which we teach. And every other campus, all the other money-making methods, we also teach how to integrate AI with them. Now, what industries would Andrew Tate get into? Obviously, if you didn't have the heat of the, the, the universe and the matrix on you, and you were the average common man trying to come up in present day, imagine you're in your, whatever, 20s, 30s, 40s, restarting, what industries would you look at as the biggest opportunity in 2024, 2025, and beyond? Yeah, I think that... Aside from the double window, uh, industry, you're saying, right? Yeah, window double, double glazing. Double glazed window industry, yeah. It's interesting because I feel like a lot of the attention geopolitically 
is going to be moving towards the global south in the second and third world. And I think a lot of people understand there's always been more opportunity in the second and third world than the first world where a lot of things are wrapped up. Mm -hmm. I think the internet is giving a lot of access to these places that perhaps didn't it exist before. Absolutely. I think artificial intelligence involved in these places is also going to be extremely important. I feel like selling information or being the barrier to information is a fantastic way to get wealthy in the world today. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who want things explained to them in a very concise, very quick, very compendious way. Right. And if you can take information which is perhaps freely available that takes an hour to explain and explain it in 30 seconds or less, mm -hmm. you're going to find a way to monetize that. Right. Especially if you can draw attention to yourself and make it clear how much time you can save people. Right. Especially if you could use artificial intelligence to get that 30 seconds down to 25 seconds. Right. There's, there's actually endless opportunity if you're prepared to work. I don't think the, the, the problem is a lack of opportunity and I don't really even truly believe in saturated markets. I still think that a lot of people will look at a lot of internet businesses and go, oh, it's saturated. Let's take something that people have been doing for a while. Mm -hmm. Copywriting. Copywriting, everyone's been trying to copyright, everyone's done it. Well, I would argue that there's a bunch of people right now making money from copywriting as we speak, who are idiots and who are lazy. And they're still making money. Mm -hmm. So there's no such thing as a saturated market because there's always a, a huge subsect of that market which are very easy to outcompete if you try your best. Mm -hmm. And they're living from it, which means you could take most of their business. There's always a bottom percentile. Yeah. So I think that you should be looking to, when I say, I, I've said this on many podcasts before about selling information or uh, garnering attention, but I don't want people to uh, confuse that with being a clown, sure. which is very different things. I think that if you're prepared to suffer and you're prepared to show that your brand or your personal brand stands up for something, and you have information which people then believe they need, you're gonna be very successful in the world today. Bro, when I saw that Sora AI thing, mm -hmm. this is to all the cameramen in the room, including my guy. I saw that Sora AI thing, I was like, bro, even camera guy's gonna be gone soon. Hollywood's gone, actors are gone, yeah. uh, script writers are gone. Right. Everyone's gonna lose their job, everyone. You have to be sitting there, and I don't know if the average cameraman sitting saying, they're going to replace me with this. Maybe not now, maybe not in a year, but certainly in two. They're going to be able to ask a robot for the thing I would take months to film and the robot's going to spit it out instantly. So how do I, A, integrate this with my skills so that when they want to use the robot, instead of asking the robot directly, they ask me because they can get a better result via me. Mm -hmm. How do I use AI along with my camera skills so I can continue to retain my job? Mm -hmm. Or two, how do I diversify? What can I do that this robot can't do currently or I don't believe it will be able to do into the future? But the average camera guy doesn't give a shit. Oh, camera guy, Sora, yeah, that's cool. Do, 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 off the cliff. Oh, I didn't see it coming. How did this happen to me? Why am I unemployed? You're a useless eater now. Enjoy the concentration camp. That's what's going to happen. So you have to be paying attention and thinking worst case scenario. They're coming for absolutely everybody and everything. I feel like if you're trying to build a personal brand, you need, I think people now are looking for, I think the internet landscape is also changing because I don't think people are looking to be just entertained anymore. Three or four years ago, even five years ago, you could be entertaining and people cared right? because life wasn't perhaps as difficult as it was. Inflation wasn't so high, whatever you want to call it, but they just watch a show and go, okay, he's being a clown. I'm entertained. Fine. I think people are looking for answers now. I yeah. think people are looking for solutions and they're only going to believe and trust in the answers you give them if you've tried and tested them, which requires suffering. Mm -hmm. I think that the internet landscape is changing. People aren't so interested in watching people just have fun anymore. Yeah. People aren't so interested in watching these idiots just put on makeup anymore. Now they want a solution for their problem because their rent is due and it must be paid. Well, how do we find a person we can trust and why can we trust him? Yeah. And the easiest answer is, well, because I've been through X, Y, and Z. Yeah. That's how you prove you can be trusted. How do you prove you have discipline? Run a marathon. Then you can prove you have discipline. So for all the people who listen to your newsletter who want a personal brand, okay, go do something extremely difficult and tell them about it and tell them what you learned and prove you did it and then do something else and continue to compound all those difficult things in your life until you become a better version of yourself, which makes you more competent, which also amplifies your success and everything works together. And before you know it, you have a huge personal brand. But if you don't suffer, if you don't go through pain, I don't know how you're even going to have one anymore.
It's actually amazing how general business strategy can apply to anything. It doesn't matter if you're running a webcam business, it doesn't matter if you're running a car wash. If you understand the realities of how money moves and you understand the realities of business, you're always going to be successful. And you need to be able to apply yourself and work hard and all these things, the, the basic cliches that everybody understands. Yeah. But I think in the world today, a lot of business has changed. And I'll be honest with you, I actually think we're entering a brand new stage of how money is generated. And I think all of the old models of how money is generated are going to fall to the wayside pretty quickly. Such as? I even think social media is going to have to change. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this here in case I'm totally wrong and maybe I'll look like a fool or maybe I'll look like a genius. But up until this point, social media and all these large companies have made money by stealing your information and understanding how you op act and operate by spying on you and then selling advertising. And I feel like the advertising model is even starting to die. Mm -hmm. I feel like people who are most successful now using social media are doing it by garnering attack garnering attention virally. So they're getting free advertising effectively. Right. And the, the old model of just pure advertising campaigns d doesn't work anymore. And as AI comes into play and as video content can be created from anywhere, as people decide to create their own realities and their own video games and their own movies they want to watch as opposed to watching anyone else's, I don't know if anyone's going to be sitting there consuming these adverts like before, or even responding to them. I don't know who even responds to adverts on Google or YouTube or any of these things anymore like they used to. I just think the whole advertising model as a whole is going to fall and they're going to have to find a brand new way to monetize. I do believe it's an attention economy we live in. I think you need to garner attention and find a way to monetize it off the back of it. But I don't think that the traditional advertising model of these social media companies is going to continue for a very long time. I think it's starting to fail. And the reason I say that is I know a lot of people who run advertising campaigns now on Google and YouTube and these things, and the returns they talk about compared to somebody who lives true to themselves and has attention garnered via virality are minuscule. And I don't think that the advertising model is gonna to continue to work for a very long time.